Afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Antay lang muna tayo, mga mga 3 o 3, mag-start tayo ang class. Good afternoon. Tayo lang natin yung mga klase ninyo. Okay? Ma'am. Okay, good afternoon. Afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, all. So we will start with our class. So we're on the module three, unit one. So starting na tayo sa module three. So so after the module three, so mayroon tayong tatlong units dito. After that, we're going to have Another quiz, and then prepare for your midterms. Your midterm will be on November second week. So depending pa kung anong date, kasi wala pang memo. Kaling sa department natin or sa colleges natin na ano yung schedule niyo for your quiz, ay for your midterm. So midterm natin na module one, two, and three ang coverage. 50 items, 1 point each, multiple choice. So, yun ang ating type of exam for your quiz, uh, for your midterm po. Yung item, ma'am? 50, 5-0. 50 items, multiple choice. 
Yung oras doon is, it can be um, 1 hour and 30 minutes. Yung oras for your midterm. Ano yan, ma'am? True? On online lang yan, yan siya, ma'am? Online din kasi we are not allowing pa kasi na merong pupuntang studyante dito sa class. Wait lang, ha? Okay, ma'am. So, hindi pa kasi allow na mag, uh, magka-klase sa uh, pupunta yung mga studyante ng matagal and stay there sa school or sa campus or sa classroom ng matagal to take the midterm. So, lalabas ko talaga tayo ng midterm ninyo will be online. So, titignan natin kung, kung sasabihin ng school, ng department, ng dean, na yung kung anong specific date ang, ang schedule sa midterm nyo, so baka doon din ang bibigay or parehas na din sa ginagawa ko sana, pwede lang i-extend. So, kailan lang ninyong pwedeng kunin within the four day or five days na extension na binibigay ko, like Wednesday, available hanggang Sunday, ganun sana. Kasi baka sasama sa sila sa schedule, for example, one Charlie and Jack four, Wednesday, three to, three to hanggang ganun. So, baka ganun yung magiging exam. So, depende pa kasi wala pa tayong memo pam power deal. Okay, so, so those are, uh, yung midterm coverage, ha, don't forget, it's, is lang module 1, 2, 3 lang tayo. Sa so, nature of mathematics, uh, speaking mathematically, at saka yung problem solving. Okay, so, na, present ko muna, wait lang. Okay, so we're on the module 3, problem solving. Oh, ewan ko, wala akong makitang good afternoon, good morning talaga na may coffee. Oh, you can take your coffee while we're having our class. Ay, sorry. Okay, so what are the units? So there are three units. Unit 2. One, we will start today discussing it, inductive and deductive reasoning. Unit 2, problem solving with patterns. So, parehas lang yan sa patterns na diniscuss ko in module 1. Mer kaso lang, meron lang additional na pinanggit dito. That is why by next week, it will be our last Google Meetup before the midterm. So, after midterm, magta-klase na naman to tayo for the finals. So, ito kasi yung last na topic for the midterm. So, pag na-discuss ko na lahat, so, ang gagawin nyo na lang is to review your less lectures, do other activities na hindi nyo pa na-submit sa midterm for you to prepare for the midterm exam. And then, after ng midterm, so, mag -me meet na mo tayo for our first lecture for final exam. So, next week, i-discuss ko yung unit 2 and 3. Bakit may discuss na itong dalawa? Kasi ang Polish Problem Solving Techniques is medyo konti akat. May isa lang yung topic niya. And same with the problem solving with top turns. Kasi kinumbay, kasi diniscuss na yung some part ng problem solving with patterns. So, dito, ibibigay, i-recap mo na lang din yung sa unit 2. So, ngayon yung inductive and deductive, next week is the unit 2 and 3. For today, you're go, uh, wala po tayong magkikitang activities sa ating Google Classroom. You can see your activities by Friday pa po. Your activities on Friday is the problem-solving patterns. So, activities and lecture po ng unit 2 ang makikita sa Friday. Okay? So, yung yung polyas naman, next Friday na yun. So, we're uh, continue sa inductive inductive reasoning tayo. So, time check, 3.12. So, hanggang 4.30 po tayo. So, we still have more time. So, we're, the, uh, we're in the unit 1. 
inductive and deductive reasoning. So ano to? So may binigay ako last week wherein you're going to watch a short video wherein it gives you an idea what is an inductive and deductive reasoning. So ano ang importante ng the importance of reasoning? It gives you to recognize what information is provided or missing. Figure out what information they need to find. To draw on relevant prior knowledge and choose the most suitable heuristic to work out the solution. So these are the importance of reasoning. That is why reasoning is part of the problem solving. Because you are going to find out through the use of your um, prior knowledge to reason out what is the best answer for that problem. So we will start first the inductive, then deductive, and we will go into have a comparison between inductive and deductive reasoning. So um, inductive reasoning is a type of reasoning that forms a conclusion. So it will start a, it will form a conclusion based on the examination of specific examples. So it means that through observation mo nang gagawin niya first steps before siya magpo-conclude. For example, yung mga iba, yung mga kapitbahay natin na chismosa. So minsan nakikinig sila, nag-observe yung lalaki palagi nandoon. So na-conclude kagad na ano may kabit ang kapitbahay nila. Parang ganun na. <laughs> Joke lang yun, ha? Okay, so, it's just an example. We're in Grabe some... <laughs> Joke lang yun. Para, kasi medyo seryoso kayo, eh. So, it's just an example. <laughs> We're in, there is, uh, they examine or observe some, uh, anong tawag siya, some patterns, ganyan. And then, they draw a conclusion. That is why, sometimes, inductive reasoning is not a uh, ano tawag diyan is not a kind of reasoning na pwede niyo gamitin kasi minsan hindi kasi totoo ang ang nagagawang conclusion okay so the conclusion formed by using inductive reasoning is a conjecture so anong tawag sa conjecture conjecture is the conclusion formed by using the inductive reasoning kaya nga ito sinabi na it may or may not be correct Kaya yung sinabi ko, example lang yun na So, to, uh, minsan, ang example na yun ay medyo totoo naman kasi may nakita lang ganun, i-conclude na kagad na ganun. So, so, it may or may not be correct. There must be certain facts. That is why inductive reasoning medyo um, hindi siya the best way to solve a problem. Okay, so, more on, go on tayo sa definition ng inductive reasoning. It is the process of reaching a general conclusion by examining specific examples. It uses a set of specific observations to reach an overarching conclusion. The opposite of deductive reasoning, commonly uh, shown using an inverted funnel or a pyramid that starts at the narrow premise and expands into a wider conclusion. So, ang um, inductive reasoning. Uh, looks like this one. Inverted, I sorry, inverted pala. Wait lang ha. Inverted funnel. So, inverted funnel. Ganon. So, this is an inverted funnel or pyramid. Ibig sabihin, from the general, ah, from the... Hello, paki off ang mic. Okay, so from the dito yung kanilang um, observations, tapos dito yung kanilang conclusion. So from the observations, magiging conclusion. So all forms of inductive reasoning are based on finding a conclusion that is most likely to fit the premises and is used when making predictions, creating generalizations, analyzing cause and effect. Yan ang purpose ng inductive reasoning. Oh, bakit yan? 
Okay, so bakit inverted? Nagkamali naman ako ng sulat dito. Wait lang ha. Dapat hindi siya inverted. Inverted funnel. Ah, correct, correct na. Wait ha. So this is not the one. Nandun siya sa, okay. Inverted funnel. Kasi yung funnel natin pag ganito. So pag inverted, magiging pa ganyan. Magiging ganyan siya. So, this is an inverted panel or a pyramid. Okay? Iba yung aking pagkaintindi kanina. Okay, so this is the the inductive reasoning. So, galing sa galing sa narrow premises. Ano yung narrow premises? Those are your observations and it will expand to a wider conclusion. Ito na yan. Meron kayong specific observations and mag-expand siya, ganyan yung tsura, to a broad conclusion. So, this conclusion may or may not, ano ang may or may not? May or may not approve o mag answer sa gusto nyong i-answer na problem. Okay, so we have here an example sa right side. My neighbor Scott hisses at me daily at the pet store all the cat cats hiss at me. So, ito yung observation and ito din yung observation number two. Dun sa bahay ninyo, yung kapitbahay, yung pusa ng kapitbahay ninyo, nag-hiss. So, pagpunta niya sa store, yung lahat ng mga pusa doon ay nag sa kanya. Therefore, so nag-conclude siya. From observation one, observation two, and then, this is your conclusion. Therefore, all cats probably hate me. So, it doesn't mean, misan, pag sasabihin natin, all cats probably hate me, it doesn't mean dahil lang sa observation 1 and 2, ay lahat naman ng pusa ay galit po sa inyo. So, may, may, minsan, yung ating observation is not true. So, kasi we're just using observation. And some observations are not true. So, that is why. Pero, this is an example of inductive reasoning. So, from the observations, you're going to have a conclusion, you're going to create or form a conclusion. Okay, so what are the uses? Hello? Claro ba ako? Hi, ma'am. Ah, okay. Claro ba ating slides? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'll continue. So you're going to uh, have this, the uses of inductive reasoning. So inductive reasoning, ang gamit niyan is to predict a number. You're going to make a conjecture or conclusions and to solve an application. Okay, so we have an example here. So we're going to consider the following procedure. First is you're going to pick a number, multiply the number by 8, Add 6 to the product, divide the sum by 2, and subtract 3. Ang ika third, uh, the third step is you're going to complete the above procedure up above to produce for several different numbers. So use an inductive reasoning to make a conjecture about the relationship between the size of the resulting number and the size of the original number. So meron tayong problem dyan. So, ito yung ating problem. Yan. So, yung magpili tayo ng number and then multiply it by 8 and add 6. Then divide the sum and subtract 3. So, we're going to create a problem. I mean, a table. So, we have here original number, multiply by 8, add 6, divide by 2, subtract 3. So, first, kasi gagawa tayo ng above procedure, to produce several different numbers. So, it, what if you're going to have number, um, magsaselect tayo ng number na 5. So, if you're going to select number 5, if you multiply mo yan by 8, we got 40. You add it 6, we can have 46. Divided by 2, we have 23. Subtract it to 3, we have 20. So, later na yung conjecture. Kasi yung conjecture, we will try to see 
the relationship between the size of the resulting number, ito yung resulting, ito yung last procedure, so yan ang resulting, resulting, and the size of the original number. So we will try to see what is the, uh, ang tawag dyan, uh, pattern na meron tayong makikita from the original number to here. Since we cannot detect yet, kasi isang number pa lang yung napili natin, we cannot say kung ano yung, diff, ano yung pattern na makikita. How about if we're going to select 6? So, if we're going to multiply it by 8, we have 48. If we're going to add it to 6, we have 54. Then, you're going to divide it to 2, we have 27. Subtract it to 3, we have 24. So, yan na yun. Original and the resulting. So, and so on. So, we'll try to see how about meron tayong 100. So, multiply to 8. Add 6. Divide 2. And you subtract it to 3. Ayan. Anong nakikita natin? Na relationship of the original number with the resulting number. We can see a pattern, di ba? Ano yung pattern? The number usually form. So, ito yung conjecture. Eh. Wait lang, ha? So, the conjecture, the procedure produces a number, ano, four times the original number. You try to observe. Four times the original number. Five times four, 20. Six times four, 24. 100 times four, 400. So, ang general formula na pwede natin gawin dyan is 4N. Where N is element of integer. O baka tanongin nyo naman, ma'am, bakit integer? Gusto ko real number. Remember, real number comprises of fractions, decimal places, or square root. Ito, we're just trying to use full number. So that is why integer lang po ang gagamitin natin. So that is why for n, where n is an element of integer, or where n is any integer. Pwede yun. This is what happened to our procedures that we have made kanina. So yan nakita natin. So the following procedure produces a number that is four times the original number. So ito yung mga resulting number, and this one is the original number. So that is how you're going to use in the inductive, in the solving in mathematics problems. Okay, so next example. So example natin dito. So ito yan. Ha? So we have the length in pendulum in units and the period of pendulum in heartbeats. So ito yung, le ah, ito yung units, the length, and the heartbeat. Anong na-observe natin? Iba na-observe natin? The square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 4, 2. Square root of 9, 3. Square root of 16, 4. Lahat ito ay square root ng heartbeats. Yan. So, if the pendulum has 49 units, so ito yung 49 dito sa units man, what, it will, be its, uh, what will be its period? So, automatic, you just get the square root. So, square root of 49 is 7. So, 7 period yung, yung pendulum pag meron siyang length of 49 units. So, that is how you're going to answer. Through the observation of patterns, we have determined what will be the period of of pendulum. Ayan. So, ito nagawa nilang conjecture. Ayan. The square root of 49. So, from that, determine na for the length of 49 units, 
there will be a period of seven heartbeats. Okay. So, next. So, under the inductive reasoning, we have the counter examples. What is this counter examples? Counter example is a specific case for which a conjecture is false. So, ibig sabihin, a statement yan siya, wherein you're going to find an example to counter that problem. Kaya nga, counter, ibig sabihin, hahanapin mo ng uh, number that will make the statement false. So, ika-counter mo siya. Kung sabihin niya, lahat ganon, pero meron kang nakita. So, ika-counter mo, hindi lahat na ganyan. So, that is what uh, counter examples mean. Okay, so we will start with, uh, ah, may, may meaning pa. Okay. So we have here a statement is true statement provided that is true in all cases. So if we can find one case, yun na yun sabi. Kahit isang case lang for which a statement is not true, we call this a counter example. Because we will come with an example to make that statement false. So, yun po ang ibig sabihin ng counter-example. Okay. For example, we have here, find the, uh, find the counter-example ng the sum of two numbers is always more than the greater number. So, ano yung sinabi daw dito, the sum of two numbers. So, for example, we have two numbers, A plus B, sum man, is always greater is always more than the greater number. So, assuming this is uh, A is greater, greater number. So, ito yung greater number. So, sinabi dito, if the sum of two numbers is always greater, uh, is always more than the greater number. So, anong more? So, greater siya. So, greater than yung sa greater number. So, we will try to find na magbibigay sa atin na hindi totoo itong statement na yan. So, ina natin. For example, we have here, assuming A is 2, so, ang B is a greater number than 2, so, we can use 3. Hindi dapat 1. Kasi we assume B is a greater number. So, this sum must be greater than 3. So, we have 2, plus 3, greater than 3, which is 5, greater than 3, which is true naman. Also, we will try to see kung how about A is 4, B is 10. Yan. Is this greater than 10? We will try to see. Yan. 14. So, true din. Okay, so what will be the number so that my counter attack natin siya? So don't forget that we can also use, since wala namang sinabi na we cannot use negative numbers, diba? So we will try to see, to use a negative number. Okay, so we will have negative 2. So yung B, ano? Negative 1. Hindi negative 3 ha, kasi... Negative 3 is lesser than negative 2. No. Si A na magiging greater number. So, we're trying to do that B is a greater number. Okay. Is this will give us greater than negative 1? So, we will see. Negative 2 plus negative 1 greater than negative 1. Negative 3 greater than negative 1. Is negative 3 greater than negative 1? No. So, this is wrong. Less than siya sa negative 1. Hence, we found an, one case, at least one case, to counter, example, this statement. So, hence, this statement is false. So, that is what, the, what is the meaning of counter example. Okay, so we will have another example for the counter example. Okay. Yan. Sinabi dito, for all numbers x, the absolute number of x is 
greater than zero. Ano yung mga absolute number? Absolute number is, if you're going to have a negative number, it will give you a positive number. If you're going to have a positive, uh, positive number, it will give you a positive number also. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga negative magiging positive. And obviously, pag positive, positive na talaga siya. Basta idas, i, tatanggalin natin yung negative sign ng negative numbers. Okay? So, this means, so sinabi daw dito, so if we have negative 2 as an x, so we have 2 is greater than 0, which is, which is true. How about 4? Obviously, it will give us 4 greater 0, and that's true. So, what are the numbers that will not give us greater than 0? So, remember, in a number, 0 is included. How about if I'm going to write 0? Yan. The absolute value of 0 is 0. Is 0 greater than 0? Hindi, di ba? This is false. Hence, we found a number that counterattack this, uh, this statement. So, hence, for all numbers x, square, uh, the absolute number of x greater than 0 is false. Hindi lahat. Kasi merong number, which is 0, that contradict this statement. So, ganun pa yung pagkuha ng counterexample. Okay, for another one, how will you find the counterexample for this one? Okay, so paano natin kaya yan? Sinabi diyan, for all number x, x squared greater than x, uh, for all numbers x, x squared is greater than x. So we will try to see kung ano ang magbibigay sa atin yan. So we will try... 2 squared. So, we have 4 greater than 2. True. So, obviously, may makita tayo na hindi true. And that is 0 squared greater than 0. 0 is not greater than 0. So, meron na tayo makita. Obviously, meron din tayo makita isa pa. Like this one. 1 is not greater than 1. And this is false. So, we have determined two numbers that contradict this statement, which gives this statement a false statement. Dahil sa may nakita tayong dalawang number. Okay, another example. Well, last example for this counter examples, then we go to the deductive reasoning. So, itong sample na to. So, what will be the examples that will give us uh, a true statement na mag, uh, true statement dito? Or may makita ba tayong numbers na magpo-false yan? So, for example, we choose x as 1. So, we have 1 squared is equals to 1. So, obviously, square root of 1 is 1. 1 is equals to 1. And that's true. How about this one? 2 squared, is that equals to 2? We have the square root of 4. And we have 2. Which is also true. How about the square root of the 3 squared? Is this equals to 3? Square root of 9. Yan. Okay, these are all positive. Maybe it's true to all positive numbers. Let us um, select negative numbers. Okay, how about negative 1? Then is this equals to negative 1? Okay, negative 1 times negative 1, obviously, it will give us a positive 1. Square root of, square root of 1 is 1. So this is not true to negative numbers because it will give us a false statement here. Tignan na natin kung lahat ng negative ay ganun. So, we select negative 2. So, we have 4 
and then 2. And yes, lahat ng negative numbers are not part of this statement. So that is how you counter example sa isang statement using inductive reasoning. So any questions sa reductive? Before tayo pupunta sa deductive reasoning. Question. Question? None, ma'am. Okay, so none, no questions. We will continue with none, deductive. Okay, so deductive, the process of reaching a conclusion by applying general principles and procedures. The process of reaching a conclusion by applying general assumptions, procedures, or principles. So it requires to start with a few general ideas, which it call premises, and apply them to a specific situation. Yeah. Okay, so ito, opposite siya. Yung kanina sa deductive, as a inductive is pag ganito. Yan. Dito naman, pag ganyan. So from general ideas to specific conclusion. Dito from specific observation through general conclusions. So mayroon tayo din daw sinabi. So nag-start siya ng all muscles are made out of living tissue. All humans have muscles. Therefore, all humans are made out of living tissue. So from the general ideas, yan, ito yung mga general ideas. We have general ideas 1, general ideas 2, and then he create a conclusion. So anong uses ng deductive? To establish a conjecture. Yan na po yung uses niya. Aside, unlike sa inductive, Tatlo ang uses ng reasoning ng inductive. Okay, so this is an example, a comparison between an inductive and deductive reasoning. So, nakikita natin, no? Sa inductive reasoning, yung first na discuss natin, is start from pattern hanggang sa may nakitang conjecture, then i-verify mo kung tama ba itong conjecture. Kasi nga, di ba, sa inductive sinabi na it may or may not true to all. Ano tong verify or modify? Ito na yung ginawa nating conjecture. Tapos, nag-counter example ka. Titingnan mo if that uh, true to all problem, uh, to all numbers. If not, then your conjecture is not true. Mag- mag uh, isi change mo yung conjecture mo para it will become true. So that is inductive reasoning. Pero sa deductive, so since ang deductive is galing from a general facts, definitions, and accepted properties, hence it will give you a logical argument. So sa kanya, sa deductive, medyo galing na sa mga general ideas, sa mga facts, Definition. So, yung kanyang magiging results will be true. So, for example, we have here. Example natin, ha. Ito yung inductive. Unahin natin si inductive. Kasi sa inductive time start. So, yung na-observe niya. Na-observe ni Mia. Na-observe na yung kaklase niya. Mia came to a class late this morning. Another observation niya is, Mia's hair was uncombed. Tapos may prior experience siya kahit na si Mia daw ay very fussy about her hair. Yung meticuloso talaga sa kanyang buhok. So he conclude, or yung kaklase niya na conclude, na Mia overslept. So kulang ng tulog. Kaya yun, pagpunta sa klase ay nangyaring ganyan. While sa deductive, ano ang ibig sabihin na, while sa deductive, kasi General ideas, general facts. So, Tom knows that if he misses the practice the day before a game, then he will not be a starting player in the game. O, baka tanong nyo, Ma'am, di ba general, bakit? Nag-isa lang siya. Specific si Tom. Yes, nilagay si Tom. 
Pero yung kanyang idea is for, is uh, coming from a general. We all know, specify lang si Tom, kasi si Tom kasi ang player. So we all know and Tom knows na kapag nag-miss tayo ng practice the day before a game, you will not be a starting player in the game. So this is a general idea or facts yan. Totoo yan nangyayari. Pag hindi ka kasama sa practice, ay hindi ka talaga magiging starting player. Tapos, meron naman siyang nakitang uh, from general ideas, then meron tayong ideas na naman or facts na si Tom ay na-miss niya yung practice on Tuesday. So from here, he conclude that he will not be able to start in the game on Wednesday. So yun kanya, yun ang difference ng deductive and inductive. Kasi yung sa quiz niyo, meron lalabas doon na wherein you're going to determine kahit sa inyong anyan sa quiz niyo may mangyari doon na wherein you're going to determine if that is if that statement is inductive or deductive reasoning. So ganun po yung pagkakaiba ng inductive and deductive. Ang deductive, facts yun, um, general ideas, while the inductive, just an observations, then they conclude. So, yun pagkakaiba ng deductive and inductive. O yan. So, we have also here an example. During the past 10 years, a tree has produced plums every other year. Last year, the tree did not produce plums. So this year, the tree will produce plums. So inductive daw. Bakit inductive? Okay, let us see. During the past years, a tree has produced every, uh, plums every other year. So observation po ang nangyari. Hindi yan general facts. So last year, the tree did not produce. So observation din. So, since yun yung produce ngayon, kasi sinabi naman every other year na produce hence, conclusion niya, the tree will produce plums this year. So, ganun yun. Next, bakit ito deductive? Yan, tingnan natin. All home improvement cost more than the estimate. O, meron sinabing home, all, at the same time, lahat namang ng home improvements ay nagko-cost more than the estimate. We know that generally. So, this is a general box. Hence, this is a deductive reasoning. So, ganun po yung inductive and deductive. Okay, so any questions po between the difference between inductive and deductive reasoning? Is there any questions? If none, none we will continue. Okay. So, Nan. So, continue tayo. Ito yung medyo nakaka-excite sa problem solving. Yung mga logic puzzles, mga puzzle puzzles. So, problem solving yan. I know that all of you like puzzles. So, we have, first part is the logic. So, it can be solved using deductive reasoning. It consists of a chart that enables us to display the given information in a visual manner. Ayan. Ito yung example. Wait, ah. Okay. Each of four neighbors, so meron kang neighbor, apat. We have Sean, Marie, Sarah, and Brian. Each of them have different occupations. So it can be Sean, Marie, Sarah, or Brian who is an editor. Si, sa, sa, sa apat na yan ay banker, sa apat na yan ay si chef, and sa apat na yan ay si dentist. So, the fra so, ngayon, the question is, you're going to know who is the editor, banker, chef, and dentist among your four neighbors. So, this four is the clue. Ito yung clue natin. Maria gets home from work after the banker, but before the dentist, Sarah who is the last to get home from work is not the editor. The dentist and Sarah leave for work at the same time. 
and the banker lives next door to Brian. So we have a let here. Let x1 ruled by clue 1. Kasi we will try to answer the problem following the four clues. So we will start with the clue 1. So kailangan i ruled out natin yung clue 1 using x1. x2 ruled out by clue 2. x3 you ruled out by clue 3. And the x4 ruled it out by clue 4. So yung check naman, it will indicate... That is the specific equation, uh, occupation of a certain neighbor. Okay, so we will start answering the problem. So, ano ang problem natin? Kailangan nating malaman sino sa mga four neighbors natin ay si editor, banker, chef, or si dentist. Okay, the clue one. Maria got home from work after the banker but before the dentist. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Meaning, Maria is not the banker nor the dentist. Bakit man, ma'am? Saan nakuha yan? Makatanungin nyo. Yan o, si Maria gets home from work after the banker and about before the dentist. So, si Maria after ng banker. So, mauna si banker. Pero si Maria, umuwi before the dentist. So, huli si dentist kay Maria. Yan. So, ganyan. Dentist, Maria, banker. So, hence, Maria is not the banker nor the dentist. So, meron tayong table. Maria is not the banker. Yan. X1 natin. Nor the dentist. X1. Bakit X1, ma'am? Ayan, lagay natin. Ruled out by clue 1. So, x1. So, yan na. So, we have na. So, hindi pa natin masagot yan kasi marami pang bakante. Oh. We cannot tell sino ba si Maria, si editor ba o si chef. So, hindi tayo pwede maghula-hula dyan. So, kailangan natin i-follow ang clue. Parang detective tayo ngayon. Okay, next. Sarah, who is the last to get home from work, is not the editor. So, we determine that Sarah is not the editor. Next. Ano pa next? Yan lang bang magagawa natin dyan? Okay, remember, may sinabi doon sa first. Diba? Sinabi si dentist si Maria, and then si Banker. So, mauna si uh, huli si Dentist, Maria, and Banker. Tingnan natin daw? Okay. Ngayon, from that one, anong pwede natin kunin? Since, di ba, meron tayong makukuha sa clue 1. Sa clue 2, Sa clue number 2, meron tayong nakita na Sarah is the last to get home. The last. Uli. And is not the editor. That is why X2. Ano pa meron tayong makita? Since sinabi niya, huli siya uuwi. Si Sarah yung huling uuwi. Pwede siya si dentist. Diba? Kasi huli man daw si dentist doon. Ay, wala naman sinabing huli si dentist. Pero... As you can see, sa tatlong ito, mahuli si Maria, ay, si dentist kay Maria. Pero si back banker, hindi naman mahuhuli kasi merong pang mahuli sa kanya, which is Maria and dentist. Since we, in the ex clue number two, sinabi, Sarah is the last to get home, hence, he cannot be the banker. Oh. Bakit man man? Bakit na uh, gets natin na hindi siya si banker? From the clue one, sinabi, Maria gets home from work after the banker. So we have Maria, banker. But before the dentist, so we have dentist, Maria, banker. So ibig sabihin sa tatlong yan, si banker mauna, then si Maria, then si dentist. He, since sinabi dito na si Sarah is not the last, hindi siya pwede maging si banker. Pwede siya maging si dentist. So, baka meron pa ditong isa. 
but hindi cannot be the banker since may, hindi natin alam kung ito na ba si Huli or meron pa isa pero we can conclude that she is not the banker pero kasi meron pa sa kanyang susunod which is Maria so Sarah is not the, is the last to get home hence she is not also the banker so yun po yung pagkukuha natin dyan okay yan na So, we have, oh, lumabas na si X3. Dapat wala pa dyan. Okay, saan kinuha yan si X3? Uh, okay, erase muna natin na para hindi makita. Okay. The dentist and Sarah live for work at the same time. So, sa clue 1, si, anong meron natin sa clue 1? Dentist, Maria, the last home to, ah? Huh? Sarah is the last to get home from work. And sinabi dito, the dentist and Sarah leave for work at the same time. So, ibig sabihin, si dentist pati si Sarah. So, mag, uh, the same po silang time na umuwi. So, from here, sinasabi natin sa Clutri na si Sarah ay hindi si dentist. So, that is why mayroong X3 dito. Si Sarah ay hindi dentist. Siyempre, sasabihin ba natin kung si Sarah ay dentist, sasabihin ba natin the dentist and Sarah. So, dalawang tao yan. So, si Sarah ay hindi yung dentista. Hence, X3, X3 ruled out by the clue number 3. So, ngayon, makita natin na si Sarah ay si Jeff. Kasi na-clued out na natin to dito. Ngayon, so, pag na out na natin na si Sarah ay si Jeff, siyempre, hindi na sila pwede maging chef. Kasi chef na si Sarah. So, wala na. So, X3, X3 na yan. May nakita tayo na na-ruled out naman din dito. Hence, si Maria ay si editor. So, kung si Maria ay si editor, hindi na din pwede ang iba maging editor. So, ngayon, it's either Sean is the banker or the dentist or Brian is the banker or the dentist. So, dalawa na lang. Nakita na natin si Maria is the editor and the chef is Sarah. Okay, next. Yan. So, ngayon, paano natin malaman sino talaga si banker at dentist? So, we have clue number four. What is our clue number four? Clue number four, banker lives next door to Brian. Hence, obviously, Ryan is not the banker. O oh, yan, si Ryan, Brian pala, is not the banker. So, meron na tayong answer. So, si, oh yes, correct, si Brian ay yung dentist. Hence, we have Maria as the editor, Sean as the banker. Sarah as the chef and Brian is the dentist. So, ganun po yung pag-answer sa logic puzzle. Okay, so, meron pa ba? Okay, isang puzzle pa. Ito na yung binigay ko last week, yung pag-solve ng Ken Ken puzzles. Na-solve nyo na ba? Wala pa, ma'am. Wala pa? Okay. Wala pa, ma'am. Okay, so, ganito. So, ang Ken Ken Puzzles is like a Sudoku Puzzles. Sino-sino nag, uh, uma, I mean, naglalaro ng Sudoku? Wala? Um, alam lang, ma. Parang alam, ma. Mahirap. Mahirap, ma. alam lang. Okay. Alam ko, ma. Oh, yan, alam, ma. Okay, Pero umarami. Alam, ma. Okay, so, ganito. Ah, yung Ken Ken Puzzles, just the same with, with, um, uh, Ayan, Sudoku. So, galing din yan sa Japan. So, it is word from Kenke, uh, Ken, meaning knowledge and awareness. So, yung Kenken puzzle is a knowledge, using your uh, knowledge and awareness. So, it translates as knowledge squared or awareness squared. Kasi Ken, Ken. Kasi mostly ganyan yung pagsulat nila. Ken, yan, Ken, Ken. Okay, it's similar to Sudoku puzzles. But this, but this time, this requires you to use a, or perform arithmetic. Ano yung mga arithmetic, ma'am? Yun, plus, minus, 
times and divide. Yan yung arithmetic to solve the cell. Unlike yung Sudoku, tingnan mo lang kung ano yung wala dyan number. Well, this one, titingnan pa natin yung number. Kaya nga may awareness while using arithmetic. Kaya nga may knowledge. Okay? So, we have here the rule. So, ang, ang ibig sabihin ng rule, if you're going to use 3 by 3, the numbers are 1, 2, 3. If 4 by 4, the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4. So, depende yan. Kung 5 by 5, 1 to 5 yung number. 6, 1 to 6 yung number. So, same pa rin yung procedure. Do not repeat any number in any row or column. Mga ganyan. So, we will try to see using an example. Kasi pagbabasahin natin yan without demo, ay hindi talaga natin ma-determine o malaman kung paano laruin si Ken Ken. Okay. So, we have a 4 by 4. Ito 6 times. Ibig sabihin, itong dito, yan, 6 times. So, you ito sabihin, you have three numbers. We're in the product, kasi times man. So, we're in the product of the three numbers will give you six. Pero yung mga values na walang arithmetic, like this one, the two and the one, obviously, ilalagay na natin yung two and the one. Ganun pa yan. So, this one, hanggang dito yan siya. So, yung mga darker color, are the wait, wait lang ha okay so so we have here So, we have here, ha? Sandali lang. Ay, minang ko ng tubig. Okay, so, <clears throat> ito naman, yung mga black corners or broad lines, ibig sabihin hanggang doon. So, ibig sabihin yung 1 minus, dalawa yung value, wherein if you're going to subtract it, kasi minus eh, subtract it, it will give you 1. But this one, tatlo, uh, sub, uh, multiply yung apat na number, that will give you 8. Ito naman, dalawa, we're going to multiply the two numbers. It will give you 12. And also with this one, if we're going to multiply this number, it will give you 4. While this one, if we're going to multiply, uh, add this number, it will give you 7. Okay, we will try to answer this one. Huh? Okay. So this is a 4 by 4 column. Hence, you need a 1. 2, 3, and 4 numbers. So, we have already 1 and 2. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na pwede gamitin si 1 dito, si 1 dito. And so, with number 2, hindi na pwede dito, and so with dito. Okay? Erase natin, na. Okay, titingnan natin how to solve. So, we have 1 minus. So, ano yung mga numbers here? So, we cannot already... Uh, we can already use also 1. Pero hindi siya dito sa... Nakaline sa 1. Pwede dito. Okay, what are the numbers that can give you... When you add them, it will give you 1. So, we have... It's either 2 minus 1, 3 minus 1, uh, 3 minus 2, or 4 minus 1. So, since, ah, 4 minus 1, 4 minus 3. Since marami pang value na pwedeng gamitin, so, wag muna natin itong gagalawin. Pupunta tayo yung konti lang value na pwedeng gamitin. Like this 12. O itong 12. Dalawang value from here. You are going to use, uh, to use that. It will give you 12. Ano, ano? Can it 2 times 4? No. 8 siya. Only 4 and 3. Diba? 4 and 3 lang pwedeng gamitin. 4 times 3, it will give us 12. So, it's either this is the 4 
and this is the 3. Or pwede din, ito si 3, dito si 4. So, dyan lang muna yan. Hindi natin papasagot. Tingnan natin si 4 times. What value will give you 4? Merong value na magbibigay sa atin is 2 times 2 and 4 times 1. Since we cannot use 2 and 2 here, because, ano daw, naka-align sila. Dapat magkaisa, ah, isa lang talaga dito, pwede gamitin ang 2. So, we cannot use 2. So, we will erase 2 there. And we can use 4 and 1. So, we have, it can be 4 here or 1. 1 here or 4. Ngayon, next. So, nakikita natin na may 1 na dito. Permission to talk, ma'am. Yes. Di ba may 1 na 1, ma'am? May 1 na doon, ma'am. Ah, yes. O, oh, yun na. So, nakikita natin na may 1 na din siya dito. So, we cannot anymore use 1 here. Hence, ang gagamitin natin is 4. So, since gagamitin na natin si 4, 1 na na si 4 dito. Since nagamit na si 4, 3 na dito. Since nagamit na si 3, ay, sorry, 4 na dito. Si 4 na yan. Kita? 4 na dito. O ngayon, kompleto na sila, di ba? So, we will use 1, 3, 4. Anong kulang? 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Since 2 ang ginamit, it can either be, ano, 2 minus 1 or 3 minus 2. It can be um, 1 or 3. So, since may 1 na dito, hindi na pwede gamitin si 1. So, it's 3 and 2. Erase. Yan. So, erase na natin to dito. Sa so, nagamit na si 3 and 2. Now, nakita natin na nagamit na si 1, 3, 4. Ang kulang is 2. So, dito si 2. Ayan. Kuha na natin. Next, may nakuna na tayo dito. So, anong kulang sa 8? Uh, sa tatlong number that will give you 8. So, what are the numbers that will give you 8? So, we have... Wait, ah. Place ko kayo. Ayan. 2 times 2 times 2. 8 yan. Ano pa? 2 times 4 times 1. Ma'am, bakit 2 ang kailangan? Kasi meron na. Nakuha na natin yung si 2. So, ibig sabihin, ano yung other 2 numbers here that will make 8? So, we have 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 4 times 1. Ano pa? 2 times 3 times 2. Pwede ba? 2 times 3 is 6 times 2, 12. Hindi na. So, ito lang dalawa. Ngayon, saan sa dalawang ito ang gagamitin mo? If I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 2, tinan nyo, nakaline si 2, nakaline dito si 2. So, we Depende cannot ma. use 2 times 2 times 2. So, erase. So, si 2 times 4 and 1 ang gagamitin. So, since nandito si 1, we will not use 1. We will use 4 and this 1 is 1. Hindi pwede si 1 dito ha, kasi nandito si 1. So, ngayon, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, nakuha na natin. So, kompleto na. Hindi mo na kailangan isolve pa ito. So, 1, 3, so, we have 2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, ano ito dito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh. Tinan nyo, if you're going to multiply this one, 3 times 2 times 1 gives you 6. And this one, 4 plus 3 gives you 7. Oh, gets you na? That is can, can, pass. O, oh, diba? Ang sayang mag-solve. Hi, ma'am. Well Yes. Ay, ma'am, ma 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 
Mga Marami akong wrong ma'am kasi hindi ko pa naiintindihan pero yung wrong. Okay, so ganun 'yan. Okay lang 'yan. So next tayo ha. Mas okay pa to ma'am kaysa doon sa module 2. Oo. Kumulay tanda ko din na. Pero para points eh. Yes. Uy, kay si Limula. Ah wait lang ha, may disturb. Okay, so next, ha? So, yun na. So, yung mga nagmo-module, so ano yung sa, ay kasi hindi sa akin kasi under yung Alpha and Bravo. Ano yung sa kanila? Online? May idea kayo? Charlie? Wala, ma'am. Wala, ma'am. Ah, well. Kasi yung, yung sa BSMRE, under lang sa akin is yung Charlie. I don't know what's with the Alpha and Bravo kasi iba yung teacher nila sa NJEC 4. Okay, so so ito yung mga basic puzzle solutions, no? So we have a single square, cages with two squares. So nina natin i-discuss to. So this is, this was given only for the module, yung walang online. So babasahin nila yan how to solve. Parang solution yan. Cause, ah, parang paano yan isosolve yung mga ages. So, meron tayong guess and check. Okay, so we have an example. Ah. So, dalawang example pa. Okay, so yung broad. So, since wala na to. So, since this is a 3 by 3. Hence, ang kailangan natin is 1, 2, and 3. So, we have 2 here and 2 here. Bakit to ma'am? Wala naman operation. So, automatic, what is the value you put there? Okay, next. We have 4. What are the values that we can use? Since we already have 2 here, so 3 and 1 na lang. So, it can be 3, 1, or ito, yung C1 and 3. Next. So, if meron na tayong 2 dito, it can be C1 dito or 3, or C3 dito or C1. Same with this one. Ngayon, ano ba ang mga 5? 5 is, dapat, tat, uh, what value of 5 will you use? What value of 5 na tatlong numbers you will use? Ah, what a value. What value from 1 to 3 that you will use to have a sum of 5? So, we can have 1 plus 1 plus Three. Diba? Tatlo to. So, 1 plus 1 is 3. Ah, 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. Ano pa? We have 2 plus 2 plus 1. 5 din to. Ano pa? Um, 4 and 1, ma'am. 4 and uh, 1? Ay, hindi na pwede. Dalawa lang yun. Tatlo ang kailangan ko. Oh, uh, this one. 1, 2, and 3. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. So, Pag ilagdag pa tayo ng isang number, it will be more than 5. So, ito lang tayong pwedeng gamitin. So, ngayon, if we're going to use 2 plus 2 plus 1, it's either 2 na pwede na, na pwede, ah, na pwede. Hindi pwede dito. So, dito naman si 2 na hindi din pwede. So, wala na talagang makikita. So, we cannot use this 2 plus 2 plus 1. It is only 1 plus 1 plus 3. Ngayon. Ngayon. 1 plus 1 plus 3. So, pag 1 plus 1 plus 3, ito ang technique. Kasi hindi pwede magkasunod, magkaaro. So, sample, lagay ko dito si 1 pati 1, hindi pwede. Kung dito lang si 1 pati 1, hindi din pwede. Ang technique dyan, ilagay nyo sa diagonal sila. Magka ganito, parang ganyan sila, or dito. So, we said, ibig sabihin, meron ako dito 1, Nandito din si 1. Para dito ko ilagay si 3. O ba? Para hindi sila magka isang rows and columns. So since I'm, I have already 1 and 1 here, so hindi nagagamitin si 1 doon. Ay, wait. Ano nangyari? Si 1. Ay, what? Sorry. Ano yun? Okay. 
C1 dito. Siya C3 and this is C1. Okay, since na-answer na ang iba, pwede natin ilagay na ang ibang number na kailangan. So, kailangan natin C3 and kailangan natin C2. So, 3 plus 2 will go give you 5. So, checking na lang yan kung tama yung answer. So, 3 plus 2 is equals to 5. Hence, yung answer natin is correct. So, another Ma example. Ah, yes? Ali Mark? <coughs> Hindi pwede ilagay ang ano? Yung form, ma'am? Ay, hindi. 3 by 3 And, lang yan. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Okay lang. Okay, so pag 3 by 3, so hanggang 3 numbers lang. 1, 2, 3. Pag 4 by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pag 5, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ganun lang. 6 by 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ibig sabihin, this can can puzzles is only applicable to square numbers. Walang rectangle. So, 6 by 6, 7 by 7. Pare-parehas yung kanilang edges. Okay, so we have here, ilan to? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is a 4 by 4. And we need 1, 2, 3, and 4 numbers. Okay. Ngayon, ito yung medyo mahirap. Kasi wala siyang ibibigay na value. Yung walang operations. So, anong magiging answer natin dyan? Okay, so, what will be your answer? So, we will uh, try to solve up. So, ngayon, ika lang ha. Wait. Okay, so we have, okay ha, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, saan tayo mag-start? So, dito tayo mag-start sa 1 minus. Ano mga numbers na pwede sa 1 minus? Medyo marami. Dalawang number, 2 minus 1, 3 minus 2, 4 minus 3. So, we will not start there kasi marami. How about sa 8 times, tatlong number? So, 8 times, ibig sabihin, tatlong number is multiply will give you 8. So, we have... 2 times 2 times 2. But obviously, pag sumobra na sa 2, 2, 2. So, magkaparehas yung arrow sa 2 dito. And so, with this 1. So, we cannot use this. How about 4 times 2 times 1. Pwede, di ba? So, it can be 4, 2, or 1 dito, or dito din si 4, 2, or 1 here. Pwede din dito si 4, 2, or 1. Okay, din na sa masagot pa din. So, how about dito? 6 plus. Ah, dito na, si 4 plus. Ano naman si 4 plus? 4 plus is na tatlo. Uh -huh, we have... 1, 2 plus 1 plus 1. 2 plus 1. Ah, ayan o. Oh. O, oh, 1 plus 1 plus 2. Pwede ba 3 plus 1 plus 1? Hindi na. 5 na siya. Yan lang. 1 plus 1 plus 2. Since may dalawang 1, so obviously, lalagay natin dito. And this will be your 2. O, oh, ba? So, since nandito si 1 and 2, Obviously, or clearly, we can, na yun, pero wala ang aking, wait lang. Ha? May erase na yung 2, pat, pati 1 dun sa 8 times, ma'am. Yes, wait lang ha. So we have, let me erase this. Okay, so we have four. So four here. Four. 
And then, pag nakuha na si 4 dyan, tatanggalin natin si 4. Okay, since we cannot use 2 a uh, 1 here, so this is 1, ah, uh, this is 2, and yung isa is 1. Yan. Now, time check, 470, so we still have time. 1, 2, ayan. Ngayon, next, 7 plus. What are the numbers from 1 to 4? We can use two numbers to add 7 plus. Uh, magiging 7. So we have 3 plus three 4. 3 and 4. 3 and 4. We cannot select yet sino sa, saan dyan ang 3, saan dyan ang 4. So we will look here. Sa... Sa minus, pwede na ba? Tingnan na natin. 2 minus 1. So, kung dito si 1 and dito si 2, hindi din pwede. Dito si 2, dito si 1, hindi pwede kasi may 1 na. And si 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 cannot be used. 3 minus 2. We can also use 3 minus 2. Or 4 minus 3. So, hindi pa pwede. So, dito muna tayo sa 6 plus. So, 6 plus, what are the 3 numbers if we're going to add? We produce 6. So, we have 3 plus 2 plus 1. ba? Ano pa? 2 plus 2 plus 2. Pero dito natin nilalagay si 2 and 2 2, 2. So, hindi pwede dyan. Hindi pwede natin gabitin si 2 plus 2. How about other numbers? So, we have... Ma'am, 1, 2, 3. O, oh, ito na. 1, 2, uh, 3 plus 2 plus 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3. Ano pa? 4 plus 1 plus 1. Hindi pwede, pwede si 4 plus 1 plus 1. Kasi 1 plus 1 along the same line sila. So, si 3 plus 2 plus 1 lang. So, we can select 3 here, 2 or si 1. Dito si 3 or si 2, si 1. Or dito si 3, si 2 or si 1. Ngayon, tingnan natin. Since meron ng 1, hindi pwede si 1 dyan. Since meron 2 and 1, hindi pwede si 2 and 1. Ayan, nakuha na si 3. Hence, si 3 dito, hindi na pwede si 3, hindi na pwede si 3. Since nandito na si 2, hindi na pwede si 2. Since nandito na si 3, hindi na pwede si 3. Since nandito si 4, hindi na pwede si 4. Ayan, pwede na natin ilagay kasi medyo nakukompleto na siya. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, ah, dito na. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Oh, let us see kung tama na yung iba. 4 plus 3 is 7, 8, 9. So, correct. 4 minus 3 is 1. Correct. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. So, tama na yung ginawa natin. So, that is how you're going to solve Ken Ken Puzzles. In a 4 by 4 Questions or oh, question? Nan ma'am. Nan ma'am. Nan ma'am. Nan ma'am. Nan ma'am. Nan Okay, so you're done. Uh, elaborate. So, meron tayong anim na Ken Ken Puzzles. 3 by 3 na dalawa, 4 by 4 na dalawa din, and dalawang 5 by 5 So, isang, isang point points ba yun? 1 point in each cell ba yun? Sinalagi ko 5 points. Basta 100 all. Teka ha. I will try to see kung ilang points yun. Ma'am, pwede ni ulit ma'am kasi mali lang ako lahat mo. Yes. Um, tingnan ko ha. Nasubmit mo na ba? <laughs> yes ma'am. Nagsubmit ako ma'am. Tingnan ko ha. Akala ko tama na. Kasi parang nilagay ko ata yun, pwedeng i-resubmit. Wait lang. Module 3, Unit 1, elaborate. Okay. 
Let me see the form. Wait na nga kasi nag-hang. Ay, nag-hang aking computer. Kapag open. Okay, let uh, we will, uh, I mean, I'm going to see this. Kung ilan ang... Pwede ata to i-resubmit. So, I will check to resubmit the value. Wait lang ah. Wait, wait. Ayan na. So, ayan. So, ito yung ating elaborate sa ating assignment. So, we have one point each correct cell. So, ibig sabihin, pag nakuha yung correct nyo dito sa, sa, sa lugar na to, one point na. Dito, same one point. So, all in all, it has a 100 points. So, we have two 5 by 5, dalawang 4 by 4, and dalawa ding 3 by 3. 100 points dito. So, I will try to see... Okay, you can edit this after submit. Pwede pong i-edit. So, just open yung sinatmit ninyo. And then, i-erase yun. And then, submit another. Pwede po yun. Kasi yun, naka-edit after submit. You can edit your submission. Ma'am, kailan ang due date nun, ma'am? Your the due date is still on November 1. November 1 Thank yan. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, Thank so you. any more questions? So 100 points po dito. So may nagpas na sa akin 8. So I don't know which one sino sino nagpas na. Okay, so if no more questions. My questions pa ba? Nan ma'am. Okay, Nan, ma so if no Nan, more questions, please open your camera for the Antal Jan um for the documentations na present po tayo. Okay, smile. Oh, may babae ba ngayon? Dalawa, tatlo. Guwapo mo, Loy. Babae natin ngayon. Guwapo ka, Lord, ma'am. Erdun lang malakas. Okay, so Bulul. no more questions. Man, ma'am. Okay, so see you ma on Friday. Ha? May bago kayong, uh, on Friday you'll have another activity. So problem solving with patterns yun. So may dinis-discuss na ako ng basics problem solving. You can do na yung problem. Or you just read muna the lecture. So the discussion of that will be on next Wednesday. So we will not meet on Friday, you just go to the Google Classroom and then don't forget your quiz number 2 uh, regarding module 2. Okay, so no more questions. So class dismiss. See you next Wednesday. Take care. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Thank, 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 thank you, ma'am. 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 Thank you. Shout out, shout, shout out. out. Chop out. Ano intende ang kama mo? Kita nta mo ka. Musta man ni? Dali answer na mo. Dali answer na mo juto. Ano ka mo tay? Batch Omar Halil. Malakas. <laughs> Pag-asa namin, Romeo, save me. Kaya <laughs> <laughs> na batch, bye-bye.